All right. Hello, everybody. Some of you might uh, remember the last video where I made these mushrooms. This one's with the bark. Today, we're going to be working on the base. Here's a skull. I carved the flower up above it, just practicing my uh, bottom jaws. But yes, I do practice when I'm not filming for YouTube. Um, I need to get better at bottom jaws for skulls. This is not done. So if you look at this piece, it's not a mountainscape. I just kind of want to see how some of there. I drilled the hole right through there. I drilled the hole through there. I already signed it. Drilled the hole through. All these holes are drilled right through. Now this is going to be the base for our mushrooms. Like I said, I was going to make a base. And of course, I got to get carried away. And um, I'm just trying to give you guys examples. So you'll see here, I used a drill right there and a drill bit. I don't know the size of it. But um, so... I'm going to be putting the mushrooms in here like this. I'll pick and choose which ones I want to use and which ones fit in the holes and stuff and that. So I've also decided to upgrade it by using some crystals in the holes too. And why I drilled the holes through right down where the crystals are is because I'm going to put lights in there. And at nighttime, whoever buys this piece will be able to light up these crystals. I don't have like a gnome or anything to put on this piece, so... It might be unfinished, I'll decide. I also got moss. I got lots of stuff to show you guys. So I think let's put the camera in the overhead and uh, get started. So it is nighttime here and um, this is something I usually do on my own and listen to some music and just kind of uh, enjoy my time. So here's the base. Okay, this piece of wood I found on the beach, I don't know if I showed it beach combing, but actually, when I was carving these holes, I had to wear my desk mask, get my desk collector table going because this wood was uh, covered in kerosene oil. You can see it inside that hole there. So that this whole piece, I don't, I don't suggest carving the wood with that has that oil on it because, well, it's bad for your health. And uh, you'll know when, it, when it's oil-packed wood because it smokes like a friggin' nothing else and it stinks. My whole place stunk from doing this. So just don't forget to wear your dust mask. I got these little wire things. I don't know if I'm going to use these. These are um, Christmas lights. And believe me, everybody, this video will be out in a few days from today. But uh, start doing your Halloween carvings now because it's going to be here. Like it's August 23rd, 24th. Halloween's going to be here in no time. And I, I, most people want to buy Halloween stuff in uh, late September. So they can have it out for October. So I got, yes, I got a chainsaw carve some pumpkins. This this is going to be a long video. Don't care. So these are Christmas lights, okay? I, I got probably still 300 sets of these. I, I went crazy one year and just bought, bought them all from all the stores. So I have lots in case they stop making them. And I didn't see them in the dollar store that I shop at last year. So... You, they come like this. These ones, this is like the little cases they come. I believe this one is actually from Walmart. $2.99. Don't be confused when I use lights. These are fairy lights. So they're just little lights on the wire themselves. Okay, like you'll see little lights inside there. Right on the wire themselves. So I don't use too much fairy lights or whatever they're called. Uh, wire lights. Mini things. I don't use those too often. I like the lights that have the... Um, the little bulbs just like this i do believe walmart sells them too so this one you know i have them so they come in 30, 20 or 40 the, their battery pack two double a's so i'll just click it on quickly here always make sure put batteries in there always make sure your lights work before you actually start gluing them into place these ones come with the little uh snowflakes on them right so all i do is just pull the snowflakes off and I get rid of these. These are these snowflakes, or sometimes you get little pumpkins or little angels or things on here, little fancy things, but they all usually pull off. Sometimes they're really hard to get off. Sometimes, um, you know, if you hold the wire, you don't let the wire get hit, but you get your heat gun, use some pliers or something to hold this. Don't, like I said, don't melt the wires, but you could heat the hot glue that they use inside there and then it should pop off. So, how many lights do I need? I need crystals. I got one, two, three, four, probably, oh, five crystals for holes. One, two, three, four, five. So now another thing too, and say this is for your Christmas trees. 
the there's not much wire between each two of these lights. Let me show you the light first. That's the lights that I always use for my Christmas trees and everything. Right like this. Okay. Now you'll see here, the wire is not long enough. All right. So what I'm going to have to do, I take the batteries out. No, I leave the batteries in. I just keep it turned off. I'm going to have to do some wiring here to extend the wires to make the wires actually long enough. Because you got to get this, you got to get this deep inside that hole so it actually hits the bottom of the crystals. Okay, these are quartz. We'll show you more of um, crystals. You can use any kind of clear crystal that you want, transparent. But um, so yeah, um, the wiring, you know, just do it at your own hazard. You know, I don't think you're going to freaking kill yourself with batteries. I clip the wires. I make them longer. I use these things. A uh, friend introduced these to me a couple years ago. These you got on Amazon. They're little, they're wire connectors, right? So what they have inside here is there's, see those what two white things? One here and then one here. That's solder inside there. So once you heat it up with a heat gun or your lighter, and it's solder in the middle here too, it's it solders the wires together. All right, so actually the middle one will solder the wire together, but I heat it up and I just clamp it down with pliers so the, I know the solder's getting in the wires. So that's how I extend the wires for one to one. So I need five lights, so one, two, three, four, five. Let's use six just in case. So let's see if this one comes off easy, this little snowflake. It doesn't come off that easy. So I'm going to see if I can pull it off without ripping the wires here. I can't pull this off, so I'm going to have to get out my heat gun and get this out. So, But what I do, first of all, I don't think there's anything else I can show you. Oh, yeah, I got some moss here. Uh, uh, don't. It's right here. One sec, please. I got two packs of this moss. I bought it from the dollar store. Okay, this stuff was not cheap. I think this stuff was like four bucks a pack. But it's okay, because this is not a cheap, when this is done, it's not cheap. Or you can also, if you have moss in your yard or in the forest, but when I was up in Merritt, I got all this moss. I think this moss is a little bit too bright, but this moss is good. It's like a plastic. So this is more from a deserty type of area. Yeah, it's super hard and it's uh, plastic. So the first thing I do, flip the piece over. Oh boy, how am I going to do this? Because I can't have my mushrooms over here Then put the wiring. I think what I'm going to have to do very first is do the wiring. Now I explained to you guys how I do it with this stuff. I showed you guys the lights that I get. So every, and Halloween time, they, the dollar stores and Walmart sell little things like this, these, these lights too, with like little pumpkins on them. So this is just like a 10 light set and it's like two or three bucks. So I think I'm going to do the wiring first. I don't think I need to show you guys on video. I already explained how to do it, how I'm going to extend the wires using this stuff. You know, I'll just get some extra because I'm never going to use these lights again. I'll just clip some of this wire and I'll put it in between the two wires to make my wires longer. And I can listen to music when I'm doing that. So how about I do that? I get the, the wiring done and um, then we can start putting the mushrooms, the moss on and the crystals and do whatever we want to do. Okay, sorry everybody. I don't want to uh, get rushed here, and I, I, I need to get to all the basics. So I bought these on Amazon. Okay, so they're called Camway, fifty-piece heat shrink solder pieces. This they shrink size two to one ratios. They're waterproof for wire splicing. I don't know if they're waterproof or not, but I'd got one done here already. So I got you can see there. I connected the wire. Here's my little connection. Here's a bulb I connected the wire here. I'm going to put this over top of where I connected the wires. Oh boy, this is why I don't like filming for this stuff here because it can be really finicky. So there's this place. Let's get it over top of there. Okay, so you got to make sure that your splice is right where that solder is. All right, so I don't think the white things, I don't think the white things are solder. So this... The solder is right over top where the splice is. Now, I don't know if you want to use a little heat gun or whatever you have, but this is what I use. Later, then I just get my pliers and pinch it on there. OK, 
Okay. So the little white plastic things melt. So just heat up for a few seconds, spin it. And I just kind of squeeze them and you can see that white plastic thing. I got to, I got to melt that solder. You can see the white plastic thing there squeezed to the wire, but I got to melt the solder a bit more. It didn't melt. So that's how you do that anyways. Okay, I can see those solders melted now. I don't know if you need to squeeze it together, but I do, just for safety. Okay, so I'll get this other white one done. And then uh, I'll start connecting the lights. And I, when I connect this side of the lights again, I, I wire it up, okay? And I turn the batteries on to make sure that you're running the each side correctly with each side because these these little tiny wires don't have like a line on them to, to know which is a positive and a negative side if that how it works. I'm not an electrician so I'm just trying to explain the best that I can here Whew. so I also bought like uh, packs of these little black uh, they're whatever they're wire heat things I forget the name of them so I'm gonna put cuz cuz that looks pretty ugly so say if somebody wants to buy this piece and they see that burn on the wire there. It just doesn't look good. Just kind of use these to go over top of it. No, you got to get the wires in there. Something my eyes aren't so great these days. But uh, I got bigger ones here. I might have to use. Well, those are way too big. So scrap that idea. <laughs> They're going to see wires like this. Okay, you can see here I got that light turned on. So all I do, don't forget to put your little wire fuser melter things on there. Wire fuser melters. I just make sure that I got each side right. That's not uh, right. Nope. Is that the right side? Is that connecting? I don't think it is. Let's try the other side. Uh oh. Houston, we have a problem. Might have been the other way. Yeah, there we go. So these lights are turned on too. So that's the right way. Stand by. Okay, so I got all the lights wired up. Um, this is probably the worst part of it. You know, putting the lights in this piece with the crystals takes a lot longer to do, but it's like uh, anything in life. I guess I'll use the term, you, you get what you pay for. So if you want to put more time into it, it's it, it's a special piece. You make it it's not just so mushroomy. So you can see all that's done. It probably took me about half an hour. No big deal. I was checking to make sure the lights were working every time I would use one of those things and hook it up. So there we go. All our lights are working. Now what I do. I it's This is kind of tricky because you don't know what crystals that you're going to put in here, right? We're going to put these crystals in the holes with the hot glue gun. And But we do know when we put our lights, because I've done this before, when we put our lights through the up through the hole into there you want to have the light pretty well up top at the hole though because then you'll get a better lighting from the closer it is to the top of the bottom of the crystals if that makes sense so you don't want to have it way down here you want to you want to have it up close to the top so i'm going to run around i'll plug my hot glue on gun this i'll just glue it to the side here the battery pack Make sure you don't, I'm just saying this stuff because I've done it before. Make sure you don't glue the cases down to the thing. Make sure the case is, you can remove it. So I think this battery pack will be hidden there. And then you'll see I did little carvings for the, where the wires go to. I do have, I do have one concern for this uh, piece of wood with the hot glue gun. Because since it's that oil, I don't know if the hot glue gun will, um, the glue will stick in there but anyways we'll have to make it work okay so it's all hot glued in there i'm not going to say that didn't suck because well it did suck so they got a hole here all the way through you can see here um that's for a mushroom i realize i curved it for a light but it's for a mushroom so i got all the lights in there anyways i got the glue pack glued there you know this glue pack you can probably just get some moss to kind of overhang it but you don't really see it when you're sitting down looking at the piece not the glue pack the battery pack i normally um carve a, a slot 
slot back here, like a square slot, and tuck it into the wood itself. But um, I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Um, I think the next step is to crisp crystals these quartz crystals you want to talk about crystals i'm going to show you guys how much crystals i friggin got my buddy Stu, as good friend owns the biggest crystal store in uh, vancouver so i get a pretty good deal on them like bags like this look at all these this is full of quartz crystals you think that's lots look at that one that one's cool that one's got crystals on the side of it see that i think that's lots Let's get the let's get the crystals out. Show time. Look at the size of this bag. All quartz crystals. Yep, tons of them. What am I going to do with all these crystals? I guess over the winters I'll uh, I'll use them. Here's that one that uh, had the qu the quartz on the side of it. Little crystals growing on the side of it. Wonder if I'm going to be able to make that one fit. Kind of uh, growing out of the thing thing like like that. I don't know, probably not. The holes aren't big enough, and I don't want to carve that wood anymore. Anyways, I got more. What do we got in this box here? Oh, I got some of these uh, foam things for, like, um, like landscapes I'm doing now. They're just uh, styrofoam and that fake plastic grass stuff or whatever it's called. Stippling or whatever you call it. I don't even know what's in this box. I got some gems on paper. A whole roll of this stuff. Just put in the backgrounds and stuff. Make disco balls. They got, uh, what's this doing here? This is a, a pig tusk. It's the broken one. I got a few more of these. I'm going to incorporate into a chainsaw carving. I got this kind of crystal. It's not, this one's all scuffed up, but uh, this is that different stuff. This one's basically no good anymore. I think you can spray it with clear coat and it will come back, but this one's too scuffed up. But this is that, uh, Let's see here. We got a light here. Let's see if we can get the light in the crystal. Can't get the light to reach. But yeah, see how this one lights up? No light. Light. I forget the name of this crystal. But it's this stuff's super soft. Um, there's that. More crystals. I got little tiny, like dark ones. I'm not gonna go through all these. I went crazy a couple years ago on Amazon. Or eBay, these little ones, bag full of that. I got these ugly color ones on a necklace, but they got holes in them. I think these, they're real crystals, they're just dyed. So there's the orange ones here, more orange ones. I got this nice green one. Oh, is it scuffed up? Nope. That's got, oh no, it's just hot glue. Oh, they hot glued the tip. But I got this nice green one. I paid decent money for this one. Here's another green one. Yeah, they hot glue the tip done. Man, these green ones are nice. But yeah, I went crystal crazy. More orange ones. Here's another, some more of those um, other ones. This one's probably got to be a nice one. It's in a box. Oh, here's another like a clear kind of green one. I don't think this one's dyed. Yeah, so I got crystals coming out of the yin yang. All cheap, all cheap things, of course. There's another one of those. More quartz. Here's some blue ones. Just look on Amazon. Just uh, blue quartz crystals. I don't, I don't think I want to use any crust, uh, color crystals on this piece. So I think I want to look at them all. Here's an old snail thing from the ocean. This is a snail, actually. They'd make good owl eyes. My buddy Stu gave me a bunch of them. What are they all doing in here, actually? See? They're snails. But, uh, yeah, so that's a tour of the bullshit. So let's find some quartz crystals to put in that uh, thing. thing. Okay, so here's that big one that I was talking about laying it on its side. Don't worry about your holes, because you're going to put moss around these things. But this one's just uh, too big. I, I don't have the hole man no i'm not carving i can't it's too late to turn the fan on in here and uh you know so here's like a couple uh some of the crystals are more like um like these aren't polished or anything these are just raw crystals they're more white on the bottoms i like to find the ones that are more clear all the way through not so whitish on the bottoms 
like this one's almost clear all the way through this one has the white on the bottom you can uh, bust that stuff off but I want to have like two crystals in one hole so I'm gonna figure out the crystals then um, all we do is just hot glue them in but you got to remember not to hot glue over your lights uh-huh uh-huh been there done that okay so I got all the crystals in um, I did find some little clear ones to put on the edges this one I doubled that up I don't know if you can see on video but I got a couple smaller ones here and one in the back um, this one then this one I tried to find the clearest ones I got like I said these crystals weren't polished or nothing so that's that also I realized I made a mistake when I was doing this carving well, not carving when I was drilling the holes for the crystals I should have put this one back farther because you could see the light from the glue sticks because they're glue clear glue sticks right you can see the light from the light coming out underneath so I have these um, hot wax sticks that just go in your glue gun like this so I figured I'd just go over top of the line with the wax so it also looks a lot cleaner too so just a idea for any of you buddy that are gonna do Christmas trees or do something like this now that's done so now we can have a good time put the mushrooms in where you think they go best and um, then we can do the we can do the friggin um, moss this takes a while this isn't something that is a is a quick project it, it takes a while but I think it will pay off in the end I do think this thing will this um, piece will need a little gnome on here or a little curved baby dragon or something around but we'll see when it's over it's getting late in the night too so and for the mushrooms just put a hot bunch of hot glue in this I don't like this hot glue gun it's slow but put a hot bunch of hot glue in there pop the mushroom in don't worry about the glue coming out because we still got to put the moss on put it to where you want it boom Bob's your uncle okay so I got all the mushrooms in there you have it so far now this moss that I bought from the dollar store this stuff was four dollars preserved sheet moss true green moss collection long-lasting vivid color moisture retaining soft pulp pliable eat apply add-on elegant mossy finish so this I've never used this moss before it's not that I don't like it it's just not too sheety to me and I was gonna scatter the moss around here like just kind of have some moss around the mushrooms and a little bit here and there but for me this uh, moss doesn't work because say if you use um, for this piece anyways because it's there's so much moss going on it say if you use this piece for you use the hot glue you put this down and then you know you can peel it off I like moss that sticks there and it's not gonna make a mess over the years <sighs> so I'm gonna have to try and get some I'm not gonna be able to finish this video tonight yeah this stuff's just not very good for me for this project I'm gonna to have to try and track down some better moss hopefully I can get some of that moss that I used before um, yeah so this video will continue once I get some better moss like I could make it patchy like this moss around the tree and the crystals but that doesn't work for me so yeah better moss so it's now the next day and things change when I work on little projects like this and oh yes they do um, I'm making my own grass for this I'm gonna go downstairs in the kitchen I'm gonna show you I'm not gonna wear my microphone it's just sawdust mixed with water and paint different colors and you gotta let it dry before you can apply it to here okay I know it's kind of dark and I don't have the best lighting but what I did is um, here's sawdust really fine sawdust mixed with like uh, this one's green this one's yellow and then this one's uh, darker brown and what I got to do is I let it sit there overnight and the next day I gotta drain all there's a sifter thing drain all the water out of it then I gotta let it dry so 
going to take about a week for it to dry. But that's that. So yellow, green, and dark brown. Then you got to, like you see, it's liquid. I know it's so dark. Anyways, you can also put it in the oven on uh, tin foil or baking pans uh, with a real low temperature to help speed dry it up. Okay, it's now a few days later. Um, this stuff here, some of you might be thinking, well, why don't you just paint it green and brown? And well, we didn't get yellow, but we got lighter brown. So here's some darker brown. Why don't you just paint it on? Well, for my personal experience, you just don't get the texture when you paint it on. All right. So I also want to say like um, I mixed it with uh, green paint at first, but when I first dried it out, it was still brown. So make sure that you use a lots of acrylic paint when you're mixing this up. Like the yellow, it's not yellow because I didn't put enough yellow in there. And I said, well, I don't really need yellow. So I don't want too much yellow. That's good enough. So you're going to have to use lots of paint. And if you're going to put it in your oven, make sure you pull it out every half an hour and mix it up and make sure, cause you'll get clumps of this stuff and you got to make sure it's not all clumpy. So it's a mess, but I think it's, I think it's worth it. And it's, saves you money from buying that fake plastic what's it called I forget the name of it but the fake grass and um, to each their own now I've come up with another plan so I have to carve a path in here because like I said from the very beginning of the video um, I just think it needs more than this so I'm gonna carve some kind of caricature and uh, it needs a path in here from coming up down here and here so um, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna have to take a couple of these mushrooms out that's okay I can plug the holes and then uh, work on the path too things change this video might take me a week to make not like my normal uh, wood spirit videos where I carve a wood spirit in half an hour film it edit it and upload it this one's a bit different okay like I said before this what is that uh, kerosene oil wood it's a super heavy piece too but I got my path drawn on here I'm going to uh, use a Dremel uh, 4000 with this flex shaft. This is the Apex Forge. I'm not going to film carving this, but it's going to come up over here and down here. Um, I will show you how smoky it is. So when you carve this wood, you're carving oil. So make sure you definitely 100% wear your dust mask. So the bottom line is sometimes I have very good ideas and sometimes I have very bad ideas. This was one of those bad ideas. It just stinks in here. Look at this mess. Yep, terrible idea. Okay, so like I said in the beginning of this video, Jordy, what were you thinking? What were you thinking, Jordy? I had to cut out a few of the mushrooms and I put a few new ones in. Now it's time to start laying this stuff out. I got this. I've, I've done this before. I got this Gorilla Glue. This was like 12 bucks. Or I got this Elmer's Clear Good 2 Transparent. It is actually transparent glue. So what do I want to use? The expensive stuff or the cheap stuff? Because what I got to do is I got to put this glue down then brush it on, and I can't touch these crystals. Like, I got to brush it on around all this, the mushrooms and stuff like that. I don't want it going up. Anyways, I also got to leave the house right now. Some days you don't want to leave the house, but I got to leave the house because I got to go to the dollar store and get some of that moss that I'm, I'm used to. I like it. It's not too bright because I still got to glue around all these crystals and stuff like that and the mushrooms after I get all this stuff on. This is kind of like a, a fall theme, right? You know, or summertime, midsummer, you know, so you get some green grass and you get lots of dead grass. Yeah, so anyways. Okay, so let's get on with this. I'm back from the dollar store. Um, you know, you go to the dollar store 
I got the moss there. You go to the dollar store, you're thinking you're going to buy one thing, but then you see lights like this, you see chocolate bars, you see cookies. So this is like a string light LEDs. I think this was like, I don't know what it was, four bucks or something. But um, yeah, I like doing lighting stuff for the winter. So let's, let me pull these lights out, see if they work any good. All right, so there's these lights. I think they're pretty good. I should be able to find out. There's no sticky tape on them to stick them, so you're going to have to stick them wherever you want to. But um, I think they're pretty good, and I'll be able to use them something for the, uh, <laughs> the winter time. Okay, let's get on with it. So with this glue for this uh, for this sawdust uh, painted stuff, um, this Gorilla Glue stuff that I've had old, it's like probably a year old. You can see it's already starting to yellow. Like, here's a new one. And it's pretty clear in there. It's a little bit yellow, but nothing like that one. Nothing like this one. This stuff stays, um, this is like two or three years old. This stays super clear. I'm not too worried about if the glue stays clear because it's going to be hidden. So what I did is a test before I went to the dollar store. Here's the elm glue and here's the Gorilla Glue. So let's uh, take, put this stuff back into the bucket here and see if there's a difference. So this feels pretty hard. It feels pretty good. This one, yeah, this is more still wet. Let's see if we rub this one a bit more too. So I think hands down, if I had more time with this, yeah, look, you can see. If I had more time with this, I think it would uh, dry okay. But I think I'm going to be safe on this because I spent so much time on it already. I'm going to use the uh, Gorilla Glue. So what I do is I, I pour it on here. I get a brush. It goes a long ways too. I put. It, I get a brush and then uh, sprinkle the stuff on. And um, yeah, all right. Bye. Okay, so I'm not going to film too much doing this, but um, here's the older Gorilla Glue. Now I got three different colors too, so you got to figure out where you want the colors. I think around the edges. Actually, I just don't know. I don't have a color plan. All I know is I want to get this glue on here first. I think last time with the last thing I I did this um I did all green first. Then I put the different colors over top of the green. Like layering it. I'm not going to film too much of this, but I'm just going to show you guys kind of what I mean I didn't have plan to um, don't forget you got to be super careful around the mushrooms and stuff because you don't want moss to be all the way halfway up it it is okay a bit though because it, you know moss will travel I think what I am going to do I think I am going to do all green first then I'll put layers of like uh, yellow and stuff on there. Kind of spread that. Uh, see how much, see how good this glue spreads around. It's probably pretty boring, but. Make sure you get everywhere. Okay, I'll just get a little bit and sprinkle it on there and show you guys what I mean. Just put it on here. I got this white paper under there because I can catch it once it's dry and um, reuse it. I put it on thicker than it needs to be too, so get the sides. See, now I forgot where I uh, did. Anyways, I'm going to get all this done and then uh, we'll be back. So once I get it on there, just kind of give it a good pat down. Make sure the uh, stuff grabs the glue. Pat, 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 pat. Yep, it's all done. Just uh, dry time now. Sometimes you'll see like little black spots kind of, I don't know if you guys can see it on the video, but um, 
I'll just get extra stuff, put it on there while the glue's still wet. And it doesn't really matter if you do if you miss patches. If you miss patches, it's okay. You got the other colors to put on top of the missed spots if you want. I don't know. Just my suggestion. So this is a voiceover. My microphone wasn't working. I don't know if you guys can notice, but I got a couple extra crystals out front there. And I did the moss around the crystals and the mushrooms too. Now this is what I've been waiting for. It's smashed mirror. You can buy sm like shattered mirror. But I waited a week and a half to get this. I'm super disappointed because the pieces were so small. Look how small they are. And some of them aren't, they don't have the mirror on them. Some of them are just glass. So every single piece I got to flip over and glue them on. So that's what I'm going to do next. And it was a real, I'm using this the same Gorilla Glue. I put some glue down, then I put the crit, uh, mirror on. Um, I got these little tweezers and that's how I got to do it. Yep, one by one. I think I did it probably a, a, at least a thousand times. Well, I'm not going to lie, some of these mirror pieces are just clear glass, so that's a huge piss off, and um, this is definitely one of the stupidest ideas I've ever had. Okay, so how many of you friends out there have had a bad acid trip? Yep, it was a bad acid trip gluing every single one of these pieces in. Yes, I know there's a hole there. We'll talk about that after. But so what do you guys think this uh, piece needs? It has a few Carving Fusion updates. First one is I think it needs some little gnomes. I pre-carved these guys. Yep, just some silly little gnomes. So, how about I get these <laughs> gnomes glued in? Okay, so there's the gnomes uh, all glued in. My microphone wasn't working. This is a voiceover. I did it with, um, these are barbecue bamboo scowls, or whatever you put the meat and the onions and stuff on. Barbecue things. And I just glued them in that way. Hot glue gun. And, um, yep, they're in there pretty good. Now, let's carve a wizard. I thought I friggin' filmed it, but I didn't, because I'm stupid. Okay, there it is, the traveling wizard. He's got his little sack there, carrying his uh, cookies, his chocolate bars, and um, his clothes, new change of socks. Um, I carved that. I th I filmed it. I did a time lapse. I don't know why it got deleted, but I filmed it. This is basswood you get on Amazon. I just uh, carved it out of this super fast. His hands are kind of a little bit silly. Don't care. Um, there's lots of other stuff to look at to detour you from the hands. So let's take the full 360 of this piece. This has been a lot of freaking work. Oops, I seen a little bit of a. Yep, oh, there it is. Oh, where is it? There it is. This has been a lot of freaking work. I tell you. I like doing the winter themes like this too. So, there it is. The traveling wizard and his little gnome buddies just stopping in to say hi to him when he travels through their town. Big L, let's do one more upgrade on this and then uh, we'll turn the lights off and turn the lights on. I added this extra crystal. These two, crystal, this, these two crystals here are different lights, or I don't know. But, um, so hopefully it will light up the wizard at night time. So one more up Carving Fusion Big Al upgrade coming at you. And um, we'll turn the lights off and... <laughs> oh boy. I'm losing my mind. Okay, there it is. The Traveling Wizard. Let's just fucking... Okay, there it is. The Traveling Wizard. He's got his little sack there. 
carrying his uh, cookies, his chocolate bars, and um, his clothes. New change of socks. Um, I carved that. I, I filmed it. I did a time lapse. I don't know why it got deleted, but I filmed it. This is basswood you get on Amazon. I just uh, carved it out of this super fast. His hands are kind of a little bit silly. Don't care. Um, there's lots of other stuff to look at to detour you from the hand. So let's take the full 360 of this piece. This has been a lot of freaking work. Oops, I seen a little bit of a... Oh, there it is. Oh, where is it? There it is. This has been a lot of freaking work, I tell you. I like doing the winter themes like this too. So, there it is. The traveling wizard and his little gnome buddies just stopping in to say hi to him when he travels through their town. Big L, let's do one more upgrade on this and then uh, we'll turn the lights off and turn the lights on. I added this extra crystal. These two crystals, these two crystals here are different lights, or I don't know. But um, so hopefully it will light up the wizard at nighttime. So one more up carving fusion, Big L upgrade coming at ya. And um, we'll turn the lights off and... <laughs> oh boy, I'm losing my mind. Okay, before I carry on here anymore, I'll say that uh, I switched back to my old microphone and I'm sorry for the microphone stuff. Um, here's some Arbutus wood I put in there. I drilled hole in the ba hole in the base. I used epoxy. Uh, I did the same thing with the dowels. So there is two pieces of Arbutus wood on this piece now. It gives it more of a haunted looking effect. And I know what most of you people are thinking on that branch right above that wizard's head. Yeah, I know you're thinking it needs an owl. Stand by. Okay, so what's on the branch? What do you guys think's on the branch? Yep, it's just a silly little hooter I carved pretty quick out of this uh, basswood that you get for um, knife carving. This is on Amazon too. I think this is like one by one. So, here's the thing. I wanna call this the end of the video. I got one more thing I gotta do. It just doesn't end. Doesn't end. One more one more upgrade here. Let's get her done. Uh, question for all you crazy carvers. Have any of you ever used a cigarette butt as acting as a paint tray? Anyways. So when this wizard's traveling to his next destination, this is just a part of the path that is reflective. Reflective path. Why I wanted the shattered mirror is, well, because... That's what I want it to be a story. So path to reflect. Um, this was a tricky one for me. I asked a few people some names, if they could think of names and the, the names they thought of basically were the names that I thought of or I, I didn't really, well, I just didn't like the names that they came up with to be honest, but those that helped, thank you. Um, so that's it, path to reflect. So it's a path when the wizard's walking down this path, it's longer. He's reflecting on his life and reflecting on uh, anything that happened in his past, all in a positive way. But learn from your mistakes. The wizard learned from his mistakes and he's on to his next quest. I forgot to say this moss is moss I got on Vancouver Island. It's the moss that hangs off the uh, trees. So I got it a couple years ago and just let it dry out. Now it's perfect for crafting. Um, I didn't talk too much about this. This is a piece of Arbutus wood I got from Vancouver Island a few years ago. This is just a branch that was on my back fence. It's spalted. Well, it's getting rotten. So it was kind of tricky to mount on there. Now, the lights, the lights, the lights. There's not going to be any grand finale on this video. Um, these lights, I put this one here and one here, hoping that they would uh, brighten up the wizard, but they don't really brighten up. You can see the shadow of the wizard, but they don't really brighten up the wizard enough for me. Let me turn off the lights here and um, we'll show you guys what it looks like. And girls. Okay, so remember when I said I used different lights on these two when I installed them later, just to give them two different, so you can see these ones look more bluish. And these ones are more whitish. Whitish, is that a word? Whitish, yeah it is. So there's one bulb. I gotta screw and screw this other one. 
So I still got to turn the light off in uh, the bedroom here. Okay. I like how the path uh, reflects the light. But you see, this is kind of, it's a bit brighter. Actually, it's about the same. So you see the shadow of the owl. You see the, the owl. You see the shadow of the wizard. I put this gnome right behind the light. This guy here. So he would pop up. This one you can see from the light. Um, this gnome you can't. No big deal. It's just having fun. That's what it's supposed to be. All this kind of stuff like this is just a fun project. But I think, personally, I'm not done yet. And I'm not going to be able to finish this video today. I think the wizard needs to be lit up more. And this sign needs to be lit up more too. This is a piece of cottonwood bark. It's kind of sad that it was a bit darker there. But um, that's what it is. Path to reflect. Now, these are some lights, LED lights I ordered, I think, a couple months ago on Amazon. Just, all you do is just Google Amazon single LED lights and their kits. So you get the, here's the white bulbs. You get red ones. You get green, yellow. So there's the things, things, the lights. And these are the battery packs that they give you with it. So they're the flat, like, um, three volt little two batteries in here. Anyways, this thing just flips open. I don't know if I can do it one handed. Yeah, there you go. So it takes two of those three volt batteries. And it also gives you these little things too to put the lights in. So I got one here already wired. Not how I did it. Showed you on the video. I just... Did a quick wire job on it for now because um see i just got the wires done like that because i still gotta what i want to do it's a lot more work for me but you might as well keep on going i'm not going to sell this piece i'll probably just give it away i don't know all the time they put in something like this how much could you get for it right it's about the fun the, it's about the fun journey and the one thing that really slowed me down on this was getting this stuff the glass uh mirror when I got it, I was pissed off. So this, I need this light to hang from here, up here, to make this glow at night and to shine the wizard more. So you see it'll be kind of like a lampshade hanging here, but I need to hide the light because I don't want, it's a pretty bright little light. Like, uh, let me turn it on. You see, it's just got a little on off switch here. So it's a pretty bright little light. And uh, I don't want you to see the light direct. So I got to carve something to hang here. So it will hit here. Well, just like this, kind of. It's got to be like that. You can see it already on the wizard. Anyways, sorry, no ground finale on this one. I'll get this done. I'll explain what I did. And um, we'll finish the video off. This thing's dragging on forever now. And I'll say another thing while I remember to say it. You know, I could have, this is, they're all upgrades. I, I, I wasn't planning on doing the trees and lots of stuff. I wasn't even planning on doing the gnomes. I could melt the wires and get the wires out from these lights. So these, I'm not too sure if these are three or six volts, these lights. This takes two three volt batteries, so maybe it's six volts. I'm not too sure. I'm not an electrician. But I didn't want to have it so... As soon as you turn these lights on, this one would come on because I'm not sure if, if this light hanging here will take away from these lights. Sometimes somebody might just want to have a nice quiet night and just see the crystals, right? Like, But I'm sure once that other light's on there, it's going to light everything up a bit more. So they'll have the choice to just see the crystals. They can have the choice to turn them both on or they can have the choice just to have this one on. Does that make sense? So that's kind of why I didn't hard hardwire it to this all one thing. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt using more batteries, but um, these batteries are cheap at the dollar store, and I'm sure they'll last a long time with one single tiny little LED light. I think what I'm going to do is um, glue this to the back of the tree because, well, I got everything else hidden so good 
I don't freaking know. I'll just get it done. Look how twisty this wood is. Super cool. I'll just say four things. Be happy you're not Jordy. Yep, I opened up a huge can of worms, took the battery pack out, going to do it all with one battery. It's finished. Oh boy, that took a lot of extra work. I would suggest when you do something like this, plan it out first, write it out on a map, all your step-by-steps, -steps, what you're going to do, instead of just winging it. <laughs> So what I had to do is I had to heat off that last battery box. I didn't like it anyways. It was like, uh, let's turn these lights on. Um, the light, when I push this button down, the lights would flicker. So it, the last one wasn't very good. This one also is on a timer too. So the lights stay off for 16 hours and I think they stay on for eight hours. So way less turning on off way less killing the battery i did look to see if i had you know so you got two double a batteries i looked to see the voltage for plug into a wall if i had a wall plug in because that would be the best but um i didn't have one so what i did to get the light on the front is i left the light i reconnected the the lights for all these gems i re i I connected it and it's still the same. I reconnected it to this. Then I spliced out up here. I did a cut all the way here and I just covered the back of the tree with moss and I came up and over. So there's wire on underneath here and then there's a wire that goes all underneath for the lights like I showed you guys earlier. So another thing too, that other light that I showed you guys, um, I got a blue one plugged in right now. I, tr I tried it with this little you know that light that i showed you i tried it with this light first and this light was super bright and it shined down on the like let's put it here for example and it would totally i'll show you after but it would totally shut this light with these little tiny flat batteries is brighter than the christmas tree lights that i use what's weird because the batteries are so much smaller maybe the battery won't uh Loss is long. I'm going to leave this plugged in, uh, turned on, see how long the batteries last. Um, yeah, but this is a lot brighter. It's see how it comes off the end. So I do got a light up in there. It's a, I just drilled the hole and then I hot glued it in. You don't see the light when you're looking at it. So let's turn these lights off and do this. Uh, we're just going to do a live grand finale. Um, I just got to unscrew this bulb. Uh, let's get rid of that. See, look how look. Look how bright this blue light, little blue light is. Super bright. So this was like, it wasn't blue, but I had a white light up in that hole. But I says, man, I don't want to have to keep on clicking two different things to turn it on and off. So I'm just going to rewire it and just have one light. So let me turn this blue light off. But you can get those on uh, Amazon, that blue light. Just can't believe how bright that is compared to these ones. So... You don't really see the wizard's face. Well, you do kind of. You see better silhouette of it. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to put my thumb over top of that light to show you what it looked like before until now. Let's see if I can get everything in camera. So I'm, that's the light. Then I'm going to cover it up. So the light's covered up. Now I'll undo the light. So you can see how it gives it a better. Well, you can see the owl better and you can see the wizard. Let's do it one more time. So it's covered up. So yeah, I think it gives it a little bit more mystical feel with that light being up there. And the moss helps too. So that's it, everybody. There is how you make a mushroom, wizard, crystal, owl, tree. Peace. Lit up. See how those things are sparkling down there. Yep, the mirror's good. So I'm happy with it, the way it turned out. Lots of, lots of things I would have done. Next time I'm going to have a plan. I'm going to spend some time, write down the plan. And um, why, is this, why is this light not very good right now? Stand by. What do you think, Big L? You think it's a mystical piece? It's super early in the morning. I think it's like 2 in the morning. One other thing, too. Um, I forgot to say, I carved the wizard a little bit too big. 
It doesn't matter. I wasn't going to recurve it. As long as you have fun, that's the main point. You know, like, nobody wants to buy this piece. I'll keep it in my bedroom for a while, and somebody will eventually. That kind of looks like a green man up in there. It looks like a face, doesn't it? See? If you look at it, like, there's a nose right there, and then there's a lip, like a nose coming down, and a lip, and then a. That's what a green man is. The truth of the green man, you'll see them in uh, the shadows of a green man in a bush or a tree. Come on, zoom in. That's it, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Might be somewhat, um, not uh, the word, retarded is a bad word to say, but anyways, Garden Fusion, over and out. <laughs>